Cram, English Language Convention, Past Perfect Tense, Past Participle, Eighth Grade Skill Level, Question 23. Me Medicine, Antidote Your Ignorance. Show some love and throw some bands on my cash up. Cash up, hashtag, dollar sign, me medicine. Keep me fueled. I can continuously provide you with these builds. Keep you in the know and up your knowledge game. Be sure to subscribe. English Foundation, verb tense, question 23. Complete the sentence with the past perfect form of the verb. Blake knew the best place to have his car repaired because the old clunker blank down on him many times before. The task here is to shift the tense of break to its past perfect verb form. The perfect tense describes completed actions. Another way of saying this is the perfect tense usually tells about something that has, had, or will have happened. To form the perfect tense, use a form of the helping verb to have with the past participle of the main verb. The past participle of a verb is usually the same as its past tense form. Its simple past tense form, that is. But sometimes the verb is irregular. The past perfect tense tells about something that had happened before something else. It uses the past tense form of the helping verb to have, which is had. Check out this example. We had finished dinner by the time Tim arrived. Again, we've used the past tense form of to have, which is had, across the board, regardless of whether or not our subject is plural or singular. And we've paired it with the past participle of the main verb, whose original form is finished. So finished is regular. It doesn't have a different past participle. Its past participle and its past tense form are the same. So had finished is the correct past perfect tense verb form. All right, back to the original question. Now for a detailed solution. Again, the past perfect tense describes a completed action that had happened before something else. Keep in mind that the something else also took place in the past. To form the past perfect tense, use the past tense form of the helping verb to have, which is had, H-A-D. You're going to combine this with the past participle of your main verb. According to this rule of formation, had broken is the past perfect tense of the verb break. I'm reiterating again that had broken is the correct past perfect verb form of break, because Blake's clunker failed him many times in the distant past. And as a result, he was already acquainted with an auto mechanic shop. The main verb break is irregular. Notice that the past participle verb form is broken. This differs from its simple past tense verb form broke, B-R-O-K-E. I'm highlighting this difference because some tend to assume that the past participle verb form is always the same as the simple past tense verb form of a verb. This is only true for regular verbs. We have preceded broken with the past tense form of the helping verb to have, which is had. And I also want you to note that the past tense form of the helping verb to have, had, is the same regardless of whether or not the subject of the verb is singular. Um, a singular noun such as in car, meaning singular because there's only one car being discussed, or had is also going to be used regardless of whether or not the subject of the verb is plural. And just in case you don't know what a plural subject looks like, an example is times, because you're discussing more than one. So the S makes this plural because you're referring to more than one thing, two or more times. Or had is going to be used regardless of whether or not the subject of the verb is written in first person. First person deals in the pronoun I, communicating information about yourself, either in written or spoken form. First person is also we. This is plural communication when a group is talking about themselves, either in written or spoken communication. 
They could all be speaking at the same time, or they could have someone speaking on their behalf. And had is also going to be used whether or not the subject of the verb is in second person. Second person deals with the pronoun you when you're talking at someone in spoken or written communication. You're directly communicating to the entity, the individual. And had is also going to be used if you're discussing something in the third person. This means you're communicating something either in written or verbal form about a person, place, or thing. You're not speaking about yourself and you're not talking to this person, place, or thing. You're just talking about it. Usually gossip is much like this. You're talking about someone or something. They're probably not there and you're not speaking to them. Okay. For more clarity, I also want to highlight that in this example, our subject of the verb is old clunker. Obviously, a singular third person noun phrase, as we just went over. Basically, with everything that I've just said, what I'm really trying to say is that had broken is definitely the correct past perfect tense verb form. 